Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'd really like to share with you this unbelievable surprise and how we put together this wonderful cabinet. So Jim just told me to grab the camera and come out to the front door. I don't know, he said something about a package. So let me go see. Ooh. I'm on the low couch. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a little pain today. I didn't order anything. Hey, put that light on. I can't see. What the? From Amazon. Hold on. What does it say? Oh, oh it's got a. Can you take it out for me? Before we open it, make sure that it's actually for us. Somebody love tape. <laughs> it says Monarch Specialty Inks. Does that mean anything to you? No, never heard of them. Is it no part for you? Yeah, I don't know. No, they, they just got so much tape on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's all tore up. Just a little. Does it say anything? Right. Okay. Um. Okay. No, no other letter or anything? No. Okay. I guess. Does it say what it is? Oh. I told her not to do that. It's the cat. <sighs> You're a bad girl. It's got my name on it. It's the cabinet I couldn't get. Somebody sent me the cabinet. This invoice is weird. But yeah. Look, there's a picture, but the uh, What? It's the cabinet that I tried to get on on the marketplace. Somebody sent it to me. And uh, Oh, okay. Somebody emailed me. It's just an open cat open No with the two drawers. Oh for okay. the sewing machine and the sewing stuff. Oh, okay. Cool. It doesn't say who it's from. Oh, maybe this does. Take, can we, let's get a scissor. Guys. Oh, my back. Here, take that. Mm. Uh, let's see. So I actually had to, I what, can't look what, at the camera. What? I know you guys are out there. It just says January. But you want me to take this off? Yeah. Or? Really hardcore rap It's too much. It was too much. Uh, does it say who it's from? It doesn't even say who it's from. I just want to take this one off to see what it says. No, nope, it just says shipping company. Of course, I don't have the glasses on, so I can't read that small print anyhow. It's, it's, can you open it? Oh my God. Open that's... what, the whole thing? Yeah, like, so we can put it together. Well, I didn't think we were going to put it together tonight. At least I don't know if we've got time. Okay. Ah, no. Or my brain or two. If we don't have time to put it together, just leave it there. Maybe I could see better with glasses and light. Don't miss out, Amazon. On Instagram. I had two people email me. 
One person asked me for the item number. Like I thought maybe they were interested in it. And then one person asked me like to pick out a color. And I was like, no, don't. It's too much. Wow, it really doesn't say who it's from though. You guys. It really is too absorbent of a gift. <laughs> oh. But it's the perfect piece, you don't understand. I'm like tore up, Jim, because it's too much to accept, but it's just the perfect piece. That's exactly what I was looking for. I can't even look at you guys. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm gonna check emails and stuff and see. I'll email the two people who were asking me. Actually, one person didn't ask me in an email. One person asked me on the channel, so I'll have to look. Guys, whoever it is, thank you. Hi, everybody. We're going to put together the Monarch Specialties I-7004 cabinet that was gifted to us. And so far, it's packaged beautifully. And it got delivered from Amazon beautifully. And it has all these really good Bits and part marks. labeled. Jim and I usually pour all this into a bowl because it comes in a little bag, but this is nice. This tray is nice and laid out. So here we go. Okay, so first of all, we have some things that fell down. Some mess. New chair! The tool man. Ooh, new chair, squishy. I like it. So the bag of wood pieces is what fell over. And so this was my temporary solution for my sewing machine. And little did I know how temporary it was going to be. Did you unlock the wheels? Yep. Here it is. Have fun. Woo woo. So, from the measurements, it looked like this was going to fit. Yes! Perfectly in there. Can you move that? Move what? The ottoman now? <laughs> the coffee table. Listen. See how perfectly it's going to fit under there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to put the... Don't do that. I'm going to put the presser foot in the top drawer and possibly some other sewing stuff. And then i got to clean up the top. But there it is. And it has locking wheels. <laughs> Christina from Minnesota. I can't even tell you. <sighs> so she picked this finish, even though it does look like I have a lot of fingerprints on it. So I have to clean it though. But she picked this finish because it matches the other furniture, which was amazing. I originally, the white one was on sale, and I was thinking the white one matches these table legs, but before she even sent this to me, Jim and I talked about, like, refinishing the top and making the legs black so it matches the rest of the furniture in the room. That is incredible. Incredible. And then when I'm not using it, well, not when I'm not using it, because it's supposed to be here for when I'm not using it. It's supposed to be... So I wanted to have it so... That when company comes and it wants to be a guest room, it fits 
perfectly. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so I apologize. It fits perfectly underneath. Can you imagine? Now you guys know why I am so was so excited. I am so moved. Why I feel so happy. But I want to tell you guys something. So she emailed me to pick which color I wanted. And I was like, I really appreciate that. But there's no way I can accept a gift like that's extraordinary or exorbitant or whatever I said. It's way too much money. And then she emailed me again and said, sorry, she doesn't listen. But Jim and I were back and forth about like accepting a gift like that. We were, you know, not trying to be cynical. I know there are good people out there and obviously you guys have shown me more generosity and how there are such good people out there than I really have seen in a very long time. Um, but, and it wasn't even that I thought, like Jim thought, you know, nothing's for free, what is she gonna want? And I was like, well, I don't have anything, so whatever, but, um, <laughs> But to me, it was just like, there, you know, it was just too much. Like, not, it was just too much. So, I was back and forth about, like, should we accept it? Should we send it back? But I have to be honest with you. I so wanted it to do exactly this. That there, I just, I just wanted it so bad that I had to accept it. Because, well, first of all, you know when someone's generous, you should just be gracious and accepting. That's one thing. But it it is, as you see, perfect. And I'm just like blown away. I have that other drawer down there and I may, I, I just did some crazy rearranging of stuff, like all my pens and pencils, my drawing pencils back there. But I may do something different. I have currently on my table, a um, Mary Englebright. Hold on. Let's see. Move the lamp. Yes, I made this lamp, but I don't think I can show you how to do it because I don't even know that they sell the pieces anymore. <laughs> so I currently have this Mary Englebright um, like sewing box. Um, it's tin or, you know, it's metal and I've had it forever, and I always wanted to have all my sewing stuff in there, and not all my sewing stuff, by any stretch of the imagination. It's got three compartments in the front and one long compartment in the back, and right now I have, like, like sewing things. Like, here are my tube turners, and here's my dad made a homemade tube turner, and this actually isn't um, sewing, but, and then I've got a fabric glue stick, some my fabric scissors, um extra threads some like stuff so what I was thinking was now that I've done that whole thing and want to change it I may put the sewing stuff in the cabinet and put the pens the drawing pencils and pencils so sorry so what I have here is one section of drawing pencils and one section of colored pencils I'm sorry I'm creating my own shadow um I'm creating my own shadow. there you go so the left side is all my colored pencils and the right side is all my number two and HB charcoal and that kind of, I don't think there's any, actually I don't think there's charcoal. They're just all graphite pencils in there. Apparently I'm knocking stuff over. Um, so I may move them to here and put this over there, but I don't know. So what I'm actually feeling underneath here now is if I take the tall stuff out of here, I can place this on the sewing table even when it's away. I won't be able to slide, I'll have to take it off when I slide it in, but once it's in, I can put it back under here. So we'll see. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm gonna leave it tucked in for now because we're gonna vacuum. And that's that, I'm so excited. I, You have no idea. So, we have, Besides buying the stuff from Ikea <clears throat> and then finishing up whatever little things there, we have one more big project. Well, not big project. We have one more project for here. We are making a stand for the TV. So if you can see right now, there's like one of those shelf divider things that's sitting on the Xbox 360 that's cradling the TV that's being held by two by fours, a one by fours. 
Not a good solution. Not a good solution. But we found a piece of scrap wood in the back um, there, and then we're going to build the shelf for it. So it's going to be two side supports and then one shelf across the top. Are we doing that? Yeah, because he said it's okay. The vents on the Xbox 360 are clear because I think they're on the sides. So I think it's okay to, he wants to, I don't know. I He always told me you couldn't put anything on the Xbox 360, but now that he's got an Xbox One, he don't care. <laughs> but the Blu-ray is currently sitting on there, so we'll see. But I will share as I go, all right? As always, take care. God bless. See you next time.